Welcome to the Emotion Code Diva Show. Uh, we are excited about today's show. So this whole uh, month of May, we've been um, doing episodes. Our, our mission is to educate, inspire, heal, and release some trapped emotions from one of our viewers. So um, I'm Dana J. Smithers. I am one half of the Emotion Code Divas. And I typically um, work with women that are going through um, some situation in their life where they just feel stuck. So it, it could be work-related, it may be personal, it might be about relationships, uh, it might be about health, it might be about finances, it might just be, uh, Helene and I did a show recently on grief, that was a very popular show because, you know, life is a roller coaster of emotions and that's what, you know, we've all got stuck in us. So the goal of this show is to just educate you on some of the ways that they can be re released with a energy healing technique that Helene and I do. So um, that's just a little bit about me and Helene is going to just introduce herself and then we will start with introducing uh, what an emotion code session looks like and then we'll start uh, giving you some tips about um, how to avoid unconscious eating. Good morning, Dana. I'm Helena Jenikin. I'm a certified clinical hypnotherapist as well as a certified emotion code practitioner. I help men and women who want to release excess weight, stop smoking. I am the stop smoking lady. Com. Yes, you are. <laughs> I am. And I also help people with uh, medical anxiety, uh, fears of dentists, uh, having surgery, needles, um, all kinds of actually fears and phobias, social anxiety. And I, uh, I live and work on Vancouver Island, but I have clients all over the world because a lot of this work can be done via Skype or Facebook Messenger. Exactly right. I was just uh, checking on our channel to see uh, who we have watching, and we are live, so this is all, all very, very good. So just to kick off the show today, I, I like to um, pull an angel card just to see if there's a, a message for us. Uh, when I do my emotion code work, I also like to use uh, an emotion code prayer that I have because, you know, we want to get connected with a, a higher power. So, yeah, there's the prayer. We've, uh, uh, I think in one of our earlier shows, I, I read it out loud. But the card today is a very good one, especially about, I think, around weight and health and being honest with ourselves. And actually says, be honest with yourself. So the message that we're getting today and sharing with everybody, because we sort of have a, a collective consciousness here going on. If you're watching the show, then then you're with us it, energetically. Uh, and even if you're watching the replay, you're with us energetically. So it says, look into your heart and you will know the truth of this situation. It's safe to admit the truth to yourself, for we will support and guide you through any necessary changes. Lean upon us for courage and the strength to take good care of yourself. Focus only upon your true desires and they'll come to you upon angels' wings. So I, I love this card for many different reasons that, you know, there life is a roller coaster of emotions. Um, that's just what the human scene is for. We're here to learn and to grow and also to be live a healthy, joyful life. And you know, finding the courage and the strength to take good care of yourself is is super important. And from a law of attraction perspective, focusing on your true desire. So let's focus on what you really want, right? And that's to be healthy, eat nutritious foods. Um, do we always do that? No, no, we're human, right? I mean, there are times when Lee and I were talking about this last show, Hawkins cheesies are <laughs> are just a delightful treat. We know they're not nutritious. We know they're not healthy for us, but every once in a while, you just have to do it, right? You know, step out, allow yourself, be conscious of what you're doing and say, yeah, I'm having these and I'm enjoying it. That's right. Hawkins so, cheesies are not actually food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they, they do taste so good. All right. So, um, Helene and I are both certified emotion code practitioners. Uh, we've um, been certified through Dr. Bradley Nelson's uh, course. You can buy the Emotion Code book yourself. You can actually do the Emotion Code uh, work on yourself. Everything that 
well, not everything, but a lot of what Helene and I have learned um, did come from this book. Um, he's got the emotion code chart in it. He does a lot of information about case studies and also how to do some muscle testing. So you can get this, but Helene and I are uh, certified. And um, yeah, so Helena, what we like to do on this show, just in case we have people for the first time, is go through what's called the seven keys to conducting an emotion code session. So we're going to talk about that, but also we just want to let people know if they've never had an emotion code session, um, you know, it can be done by phone, it can be done through Skype, Zoom. I've actually got a call in a few hours. I'm going to do it on uh, uh, FaceTime with someone who's at work. So she's taking a break during her work and we'll do that. Um, but there is, once we've done the session, there is some processing time that we always let people know about. Most people feel much lighter with whatever it is we've worked on. And also um, they, they can, you know, some people get an emotional re release of crying. I know that happened uh, on last uh, week's show, Helena, when I was working with Misty Anderson, she posted that she was releasing some tears, which is always a good thing. So it doesn't always happen, but you'll find a release in some way. So when we do the session today on someone that has unconscious eating habits, we're going to break those habits and find out what negative emotions are there. So, Helena, what's the first thing that, that I'll need to do with the viewer today? Uh, the first um, one is permission. We'd like their permission to work with them energetically. Exactly. And once we have their permission, and that's why when we are looking for viewers, we always, uh, they, they have to say it's okay with us. Actually, early in the show, pre-show, Helene and I were talking about certain people in our lives that we know that we would uh, love to work, get rid of some of their <laughs> unconscious eating habits, but we can't do it without their permission. So we're going to pass on that. But uh, anyway, so the next thing that we need um, to do is we need to um, become their proxy. So as I just said a few minutes ago, either, you know, uh, since we're not going to be here in person, although if they are here in person, we can um, still become their proxy. We don't have to actually do the muscle testing on them. I'm actually hoping to be working with um, a dog I just met, Chester. He was out in the uh, in uh, my neighborhood and he started, he's a little schnauzer, he started barking at all these other dogs and as soon as they passed, he stopped. So I just got talking with the gal and she's just moved here from New York and I live in Vancouver. And uh, so her dog is kind of adjusting and, you know, we got talking and I said, as he had, you know, dog obedience training? Yes, yes, yes. And I so got talking to her about emotion code. Um, so she's going to watch the video. Um, I, Helene and I have done several about what we're doing right now, but I, I couldn't just work on that dog, seeing it in the street. So I had to ask her permission. So then she'll get back with me. And once I have her permission, then she will, will she's actually close. So physically, she's going to hold her dog, Chester, and she's going to become the surrogate. And I'm still going to be the proxy and work through the emotions. So what's the next thing that we have to find out when we're working with someone, Helena? Well, after we have their proxy, um, so we're able to ask their subconscious mind directly the questions on their behalf. Right. Um, the next one is severity. Right. Severity, one through 10. What are we looking for there, Dana? Well, if we're going to be working with someone and they've connected with us, chances are they're, they're feeling that this in in terms of how much it's bothering them or how stuck they feel, it's going to be sort of an eight, nine, or 10. Um, I have had some people that say, well, it's, you know, it's a three. And I go, mm. <laughs> well, if it's, if it's a three, you know, that's not on a scale of one to 10, that's not really that high. Our goal is to get it down in three, two, one, zero. But, but we also then will do our own checking with the subconscious using a technique that we'll, we'll show you in a minute. But um, we still want to just make sure, and if it's likely it's not going to be three, I think it'll probably test higher. Um, or as I say, we probably wouldn't be having a conversation with them. Yeah, that's right. So um, the next key to the process, the emotion code process, is muscle testing. Dana, how, how do you do muscle testing? Actually, well, the reason that we're doing the muscle testing is we're going to 
we've asked their permission proxy, we found out the severity. So we're gonna actually tap into their subconscious, but we will be the person who is their proxy. So we're going to be asking the questions through us. So once we start to work um, doing the muscle testing uh, in the book, as I said, there's many ways that Dr. Bradley will sh Nelson will show you how to do it, but I do mine this way. I just um, put my index finger on my thumb and then I take my two fingers from my other hand, my middle and index. And if uh, when I'm muscle testing, we're only asking yes or no Question, questions that will give us a yes or a no. So this is a yes, it stays nice and tight, and that's a no for me. And Helene, I think you've got a little bit different method there that you use. I do, I, I uh, take uh, my two fingers this way and link them together. And so when it's a yes, my fingers link together. When it's no, they just slip apart. It's um, quite interesting, the beginning when I first was learning this, it was I was like tugging really hard and making lots of effort now it's it's definitely more gentle as i as i uh, get more and more experience the the yes and no answers come more easily yeah exactly so on the show because we do um we like to make it a little bit engaging invite people in so just want to say hello to misty anderson hashtag alaska misty thanks for watching mm -hmm. uh misty is also an emotion code diva and we certainly hope to um, she had some technical computer difficulties when we did our sexy, sexy, healthy, wealthy women um, emotion code diva show. So we'll be doing something like that again, and hopefully Misty will be on it. Uh, Pamelia Bell says good morning. Um, so thanks so much for that. And Natasha Paula Samuel from Rum, I think it's Rumford, no Essex. <laughs> I always get it wrong. We've got another viewer. Uh, Natasha, enlighten us there. I, sh I should know what that is. Sorry for that. I, but, Dana, I, I think that calls for a trip to England to I find so. out where our viewers actually live and visit Exactly. Them. That's unfair. fair. And also, um, you know, when we're working with someone, Helena and I have clients all over the world. It doesn't matter where you live. It's not necessary that we do this in person. But so we've done the muscle testing and, and then we're actually using what's called the emotion code chart. So I'm showing the chart and Helena's got a little bit different one. We've also got, um, you can get the app on your phone as well. If I'm out somewhere and someone contacts me, I'll use the app. So Helena, I'm, why don't you show yours? Just put it up there. And so when I'm asking the question, I'll ask, so when I work on, um, I'm going to work on a, a woman named Beryl Comar. Comar. Comer today. And so I'm going to ask the question, are there any trapped emotions that when released will allow, are, are any trapped emotions that are preventing Beryl from consciously, mindfully eating? And so then I'm going to ask the question, are they in column A? Nope. Are they in column B? So I get a yes on that. And then I'm going to ask, are they in an even row or an odd row? So then I get odd. So then I go, is it one, three, five, three? So I go to three and I'm in B. So then I'm going to go through the emotion of confusion, defensiveness, grief, self-abuse, stubbornness. And one of those will, a lot will be a no. Now, if I get two together, if I got confusion and defensiveness, Dr. Nelson calls this a psychic trauma. It just means if, if we're looking at, Helene and I like to use the, the lemon that um, this is the, the size of what an emotional block can look like. Dr. Bradley says they can be from a lemon to a cantaloupe. So this is what can be causing migraines, back pains, uh, stomach ache, aches, just unconscious eating, feelings of not feeling good about yourself, mindful self-abuse, right? Or mindless self-abuse is what I should say, right? So that's kind of what a trapped emotion can look like. So when there's two of these together, it just, it's, it's the same process. We're just gonna go ahead and release that. So how do we release it? How do we release it? It's the magic magnets. Right. <laughs> and so um, Helene and I have different, oh, thanks, Natasha. It is Rumford, Essex. So I finally have that right. And we know that our other viewer from London uh, from England, Sylvia Bellini is in London, so great, thanks so much. <laughs> All right, so magnets is what we're going to use, and the premise behind this, these are the magnets that I have. I have a few different ones, um, but these are ones that I use, and Helene, I think, have you got your different ones with you today? I'm not sure. Yep. 
Yeah, and also you can use your hand. Um, I've had to do that in, in the car when I haven't had my magnets handy. Other side. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the Vanna and Dana show here today. Yeah. So, yeah, so what we're doing is when that trapped emotion comes up, let's say it was confusion, then I'm going to ask the question, can I, can, does it belong to her? Yes. Can I release it? So when I get a yes, I take the magnets and I'm actually going to take them over um, from, you know, we ha all have energy centers, the chakras. Most people know that are familiar with the seven chakras, but we have way more than seven. But those are the main ones. We have a governing meridian that governs all these points and acupuncture. Acupuncture, they're very aware of where these uh, points are. So what we do is we take the magnet and we're going to take it from the, just the top of our lip over our head to the back of our neck. And if it is the person's emotion, then we're going to do three swipes. And what we're doing is we're demagnetizing. Because remember, everything we're doing is energy, is working with energy, and it's all about the intention. So our intention, every emotion code practitioner, that's working with someone has the intention of removing that trapped emotion and neutralizing it. So that's what we're doing. We're neutralizing, just like what you do if you in your in your wallet with your credit card. Sometimes it doesn't work. It's because you've neutralized it. So we're just doing that. And if it's an inherited emotion, then we're doing ten swipes of the magnet. And then, hmm, hydrated practitioner. Lots and lots and lots of water. Exactly. Uh, because I knew I was going to be doing this session today, I um, I didn't, uh, I had like a minuscule amount of coffee today. So I thought, nah, I've got, I've got three sessions coming up in a row. So I thought, nah, just drink the water and it's sunny and it's, it's wonderful. So we'll just go with that. So Helena, I'm going to go ahead and work on Beryl. Mm -hmm. um, did she happen to give you her, uh, her severity? Um, not yet, but I, I'm, from previous conversations that I've had with her, so I, I, I know her quite well, um, it is the unconscious eating is, is a consistent behavior. So okay. I, I will say that it's quite high. Um, if you can tap into her subconscious mind because you have permission. Okay, um, I will do that. All right. You can so check. you're going to go ahead and um, – just give everybody some tips and yeah we had some interesting conversations uh, about athletes as well yes, so I'll let you go ahead with that and I'm just going to go ahead and and work on barrel great um, so as I am a oh. clinical certified hypnotherapist I work with my clients that want to release excess weight and the program I use is uh, called the virtual gastric band process where they have a uh, gastric band surgery around their stomach, they have placed around the stomach so that their stomach is smaller, just like a real surgery. And the difference though is I teach my clients hypnotically to eat slowly and consciously. And people go, how do I do that? I, I just, you know, I eat in front of the TV, I eat my downtime, I, I'm reading a book, I'm I'm on Facebook, I'm on the computer, I'm at a party and I just find myself eating through the entire appetizers that are just been placed out, you know, the bags of chips and popcorn and, and all that kind of stuff. The secret is, is conscious eating. So that means no distractions. So when you're eating, you're eating. It's usually then best at a table, knife and fork, spoon, one bite at a time. Fork and chewing 20, 25, 30 times. And what this does is gets your conscious mind and your subconscious mind in alignment so your brain knows that you are full, full and satisfied. Um, people find when they're eating consciously that they're not eating as much because you're at a party and you're talking and it's your turn to chat and you're not just automatically eating and reaching for food you'll you'll find yourself eating less now when you're let's say out for dinner or so forth and your person that you're there with is is talking that's your time to eat and when it's your time to eat the cutlery goes down the food goes down and that really helps now the other thing too is no tv 
watching and eating. Your, your brain will not register consciously that you're eating food. Um, I have a little diagram here. It's my uh, iceberg image. The top part of the iceberg is which everybody can see and is aware of, about 5 or 10%. And the majority of the uh, iceberg is underwater. Now, this represents our conscious and subconscious mind. The conscious mind up here, which is really tiny, and the subconscious mind down here, which is our automatic behaviors. So we need to engage our conscious mind by changing our habits, by not eating in front of the TV, by not eating when you're reading um, or um, eating or out, out with socializing and so forth. That really helps. And with the hypnosis, I reinforce that new good behaviors. Now, Dan and I were talking about athletes, uh, people that were very athletic, you know, even professional athletes, and, and then they finish their professional sport and they're not as active as they once were, but they haven't changed their eating habits because they become, they become habits, automatic behavior. And you'll start to notice the weight gain. And this is when the conscious eating comes into play. Recognizing that you don't need as much fuel as you once did. Quite interesting when I work with athletes or let's say with people that were once athletes that they still have the mindset of back then. They could eat anything that they wanted to because they were active for so many hours in the day. It became a habit of certain ways of eating and so there is a new learned um, uh, behavior that needs to happen. This is a, a graphic I quite enjoy because how do you change a habit? Well, you can come see a hypnotherapist, you can see an emotion code uh, practitioner, or you can start programming your own subconscious mind to new healthy ways of being. And so this graphic here is your subconscious mind, that part of your mind, that 90, 95% of your mind that's automatically uh, behaving and is in charge of our emotions, our imagination, our morals, our ethics, our beliefs. It says here, this graphic says, your subconscious mind does not know the difference between an actual experience that produces an emotion and an emotion that you fabricate through thought alone. So imagine if you started imagining yourself being slimmer and trimmer, fitter and healthier, and eating slowly and consciously. So imagine yourself taking that few, five, 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and not doing anything else, and just enjoying the food that you've prepared. What's really interesting is when we start to become mindful of the food that we're putting into our body, some of it doesn't taste so good. And we start to notice that we're covering it up with mm, barbecue sauce or salad dressings, or other sauces and condiments that are full of sugar. Um, and so, because we're really not that hungry. So, consciously eating slowly, one bite at a time. Cutlery goes down each and every time. Finding your spot and place to eat, your times to eat. Eating, not in front of the TV, <laughs> eating in a in a lovely place. And one thing I learned from a, a lady a long time ago was part of my Sexy Healthy Wealthy event that I did many years ago. She was French. And her take on sexy was, it starts all up here in the mind. It was interesting. She wasn't a hypnotherapist. She was French. So her morning started like this. A beautiful flower. She had one flower in her bathroom. A beautiful live flower. And she changed it out every week. And then she had a beautiful little perfume, not a big perfume bottle, but just a little beautiful perfume. She would just dab it on. The underwear that she put on was always beautiful because she knew that the, if she felt beautiful on the inside and the, the clothes that nobody else could see, she knew she was beautiful. It really changed her attitude. The other thing she did was she used her good china. Uh -huh. to drink her coffee and her tea from. Absolutely. The best China. Never, it's, who else is more special 
than you. <laughs> so enjoy that lovely china, your favorite cup. Or Dana, you've got a new glass, don't you? That's I do, beautiful. yes. It's, it's actually French. <laughs> yes, it's French. Uh, yeah, it's got my little uh, bees on it. That's right. Uh, that I love, yeah. I, I absolutely am a believer in that. I've got nice um, Villeroy and Bach everyday china that I use. And I've got really special teacups. Um, usually when I travel, that's something I get for myself is is a teacup and maybe a little dessert plate. Um, and I've got, yeah, some really favorite ones that I like. And interesting that you say about the um, underwear, not that's what we're talking about today, but um, let's just say I was mindful today. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, you know, it's summertime. Let's, well, I think in summertime too, right? Um, you know, I don't know if you talked about seasonally how our habits change and, you know, that's why I'm so interested in, um, you know, the market starting because, you know, right now I would rather be eating fresh strawberries and, you know, I know they're not quite ready yet, but soon, but, you know, the peaches that come down from the Okanagan and all of that. But I notice in winter, Helena, you and I have talked about this in a show before that, you know, I'll go to the freezer where I have cookies or something, or I'll go into the cupboard, you know, where I've got something packaged. Um, you know, I won't necessarily, maybe I'll have two shortbread or something, right, with a cup of tea and a nice china. And that's kind of a treat. But in the summer, I mean, definitely seasonally, your body is going to be craving different things. And, you know, the sweetness of some really fresh raspberries or blueberries or strawberries or, you know, peaches that the juice just drips down. I mean, to me, that's really conscious, mindful eating because you know how good it is for your body versus, okay, the Hawkins cheesy. <laughs> right. and, and it's really interesting. They're not satisfying. And so we're constantly looking for that satisfaction. And the, the foods that satiate are your, are your proteins, are your yeah. good fat, are your um, sweet, delightful fruit. But it is... Honestly, I saw Chris, uh, Dr. Christian Northrup, one of the things that she demonstrated, she, uh, um, this event that I had her present at, and there's like these 2,000 ladies in the audience, she had a little bowl of strawberries, and you should have seen her eat the strawberries. It was like <laughs> one bite at a time, and I was like, mmm, and she totally savored yeah. it. And she really believed about savoring a delicious, something delectable, and it changed change the hormones in the body and mm -hmm. I think it's oxytocin making us feel better absolutely yeah yes and yeah I mean she's got some great books out there as well but you know it's so true just being mindful and that's what we hope this whole month of talking about releasing weight has been about it's not about being skinny or thin you know we we really want you to know that it's about what what feels good entering your body, where do you feel good? You know, how do you, you know, how are you presenting food to yourself? Are you making it with love? Are you having food that you really do enjoy eating? And are you taking the time to enjoy it? And that, you know, that will get, that in itself will, will not build you up with more negative emotions. Right. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna talk about Beryl, but just before I do, big shout out to Sylvia Bellini. <laughs> She's going to be watching the replay later, so that's just great. And uh, please share the video. We love for people to be watching. So I worked with uh, Beryl, and uh, again, we, we have a limited time here, you know, when we're doing this. So this is just a brief uh, releasing of some trapped emotions for her. So the severity that I tapped into her, with her subconscious was a nine, and when I finished, it was down to a zero. So she should notice that she, when she goes to reach for something unconsciously, she's not going to do that anymore. When she's, um, I think you said she's traveling right now as well? Yes, she's uh, with a good friend of mine, Inez uh, Simpson, and Inez just joined the show. They're both in Spain, and I've seen some absolutely spectacular pictures of where they are oh, with lovely. that lovely Bogan Villa and them having oh lovely. and the, and the fruit and the vegetables. My sister's in southern France right now, right? And she's like, oh, we had this today and pictures of the market because everything, you know, a, a real tomato. And you know, even when you're traveling, um, you know, you want to be mindful of what you're picking up as well, especially if you're like rushing through an airport or something. I mean, that's just packed Ugh. with 
all the wrong food to eat, but occasionally you'll find some fruit or something. But anyway, so Vero, this is what I released for you. And these were your emotions. Uh, self-abuse. So most people's self-abuse, um, I find, is not necessarily physical self-abuse, but it's what's going on up here. You know, it's the negative, the mind frick, the negative self-talk, and all of that more so than the abuse. Um, next one that I released was confusion, indecisiveness, humiliation, and then uh, up pop pride, but Pride was actually an inherited emotion from your grandmother on your mother's side. So it was your, your mother's mother. So when we release an inherited emotion, wherever they are out in the universe, because again, we're all energy. We just take a different energetic form when we pass, that that will be released from Vero's grandmother, her mother, and herself. So the trapped emotion of pride. And in this case, it's not the good pride. It's it's being too proud to ask for what you want, maybe too proud to speak up, um, too proud to do something. So sometimes with pride, and we also get the trapped emotion of shame. Um, but humiliation came just before this one. And then there was despair and feeling uh, a bit worthless. Um, and then she had the, the psychic trauma. So this is two together of disgust and nervousness. So again, it's kind of like, think of it as having like two of these lemons, I better get another lemon, two of these lemons together. And um, they just kind of form a, a stronger bond and it's called a psychic trauma. We still release it the same way. And so those are the ones that I did release for you, Beryl. So we would love it if at some point you can make a comment um, in this video just about how you were feeling. And as I said, for me in the subconscious, I got it down to a zero. So you should notice some shifts in how you're looking at food and also what food you're putting into your body and where the conscious mind is making some of those decisions. Fantastic, Dana. So, Helena, and, do you see anybody else on your, um, I know oftentimes uh, we see I, different. Uh, I saw uh, Sylvia Bellini's popped on. She's yeah. uh, such a great time of year. So many different lovely foods to look forward to. Exactly. So, you know, for a lot of us, the summer season and summer fruits and vegetables are coming in so we've got lots of fresh choices right lots of fresh choices um, um leslie marshall also had joined us oh, hey leslie us. so uh next week's show is going to wrap up for um releasing weight month and so we're going to be talking about my favorite subject exercise Exercise, yeah. exercise, exercise, ladies and gentlemen. I have a, uh, a rebounder in my uh, my office. And every time I want to take it away, I, I, I use it and my clients just love it. They they're, they want to try it out. Oh, really? Uh, oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, because it's fun. It's like this little mini trampoline. Yeah, yeah I've it's seen fan that. Fantastic for circulation. And what I find is when my uh, younger clients come in, so sometimes moms bring in and their kids are with them and oh, yeah. and they just kind of bounce away on the trampoline and they put themselves into a trance. And so they get <laughs> a trance session as well as the mom. So uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. So we'll be talking about exercise and, you know, I mean, we're going to be talking about exercise that's doable, right? And everything that we're talking about, you know, that has to do with, you know, the mind, body and spirit. It has to be something that feels good for you and that you are able to do because the last thing we want is for any of us to be beating ourselves up about, oh, I didn't do it. You know, for me um, this morning, because I had a fairly early morning, my morning routine is usually meditation, yoga, um, and maybe later in the day I'll go for a walk, but I opted out for from the yoga today because I had a few other things to do, but I'll definitely go for a long, long beach walk tonight and I'll be back in the morning doing my yoga. I mean, I used to do a lot of, when I was younger, step, uh, high energy aerobics. I mean, you know, yeah. So we'll talk about that next week about, yes. you know, what's, what's right for your body, right? Because everybody's body is different. And then for the month of June, Really great topic. So this one is about fears and phobias. We all have them. Remember, life is a roller coaster of emotions. So don't put me on the, 
Don't exactly. put me on a, don't put me on a roller coaster, Jana. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to be talking about um, yeah phobias, maybe uh, you know health phobias, medical anxiety, uh, public speaking um, phobias. Some people have phobias of animals or certain animals. Some people have a, a fear of driving. Um, so you know once something goes in your subconscious, if something has happened to you, like maybe you've been in an accident or something or maybe you've gone through some surgery or something, or maybe you've had a really bad experience at the, at the dentist. Well, the, those negative emotions remain in your subconscious. So we can actually help you release those by doing the emotion code. So join us for that. And, um, oh good, oh how very nice. Um, Linda Kranich from Ontario has joined us today. She says, I'm so looking forward to hearing more about getting back to exercise. My body and soul both need it, uh, and it's so true. And we'll talk about, um, you know, the, the right exercise for you and how you know it's the right exercise for you. And as our bodies um, journey along, and you know, metabolism changes, we change. What we want to do changes. Um, where we want to exercise changes as well. And certainly with, with better weather coming up, we have more opportunities to, to be outside. So uh, please share the show. Uh, we love to hear your comments. And again, we're fairly new to doing this Emotion Code Diva show. Um, so for other shows, Helena, where can people reach you and also if they want a session? Certainly. So uh, my uh, website is flourishhypnosis.com forward slash emotion dash code. I have a Facebook page. It's called Flourish Hypnosis. I also have a YouTube channel, uh, Flourish Hypnosis, and also under my name, Helena Jenikin. Right, exactly. And I've got, uh, you can find me a few different places, but I'll give you empoweredwomeninbusiness.com uh, forward slash emotion hyphen code. And I too have a YouTube channel. Um, I have a lot of different playlists on my YouTube channel because I've done a lot of uh, law of attraction videos and tips and you know all about the mind right the power of the mind and Helene and I have our YouTube videos on there and some sessions that we've done together as well so please do check us out and share with your friends and ask them to like our page if they like it right because we the yeah we only want to attract people that really are interested in making changes in their life and with a very aware mind. And the one thing about um, setting an intention for anything is that, you know, there are higher powers that are listening to us. And um, yeah, when we tap into that subconscious, we, we more or less become a, a conduit to finding out what those trapped emotions are. So that's it for the Emotion Code Divas today, May 23rd, last show for May. May 30th. May 30th, wow. Is that right? Yeah, end of the month and then summertime. <laughs> and I was thinking about another phobia. Some people have uh, phobias about bees and also uh, fears about allergies, right? There can be a lot of that that comes up for people as well. Fears, you know, s school is going to be out. The kids are coming home. <laughs> you know, there could be a lot of emotions around that as well. So let us know what your fear or phobia is and as usual we are looking for um, a viewer who would like to uh, 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 for Helena or myself to do a session on so you can PM us or again just post in the comments and we will ask you some questions and we'll get to work on you so that's it for now bye 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 <laughs>